What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Red Thorns Gaming. I finally got in to the Elder Scroll Blades. I pre-registered, and I wasn't one of the super lucky ones who were actually able to go in as soon as it dropped, which was about 11 p.m. on the 27th Eastern Standard Time. But uh, you can see I have early access. It's just I have been waiting and waiting and waiting, and wow. I mean, we're looking at... A little less than, what, 20 hours? And I finally get into it. But hey, I'm sure there were probably thousands of people, tens of thousands of gamers who were trying to get into this game. So they've been, they, they already said in their website that it was going to be a, like a, a rolling type lottery. I guess I finally rolled the lucky number. Yay. I've been hearing some feedback. A lot of people are not impressed. I'm going to see. I've been waiting a while. Skeevers. Tap the ground to walk there. All right, they want us to tap, or, we, or there's a joystick here too. So you can tap, or there's a joystick here on the left. Hold and, hold and move to look around. Whoa, slow down. All right, so by, okay. That got me a little dizzy there. So eye candy for sure, what I'm looking at right now. You could almost say this is PC quality right now. It's not too bad. It looks like a, a cul-de-sac. Okay, no map. We're already lost. We just started the game. I'm going to go ahead and throw the bridge. We are not going in the water. I haven't played a Skyrim game in forever. That is nothing. Alright, we've gone north, we've gone south, we've gone east, we've gone west, here we go. It's like stuck. Tap the vines to hack them off. Now I gotta look at my watch here, we're at 18, we'll say we started this around 18. 45. Turn around, this road is closed. Whoa! What is this game doing? I'm not even doing anything, I'm just tapping. Okay, so tapping, and obviously you can't pick anything up. You set fire to my town? Some difficulties with the movement. I don't know what's going on with that? Let's see if I can get my gamer name. I don't want to be in at work. Dark Elf, Vampire, oh, my cat learned how to open the door. So what do we got? Okay, that looks like a human. 10% spell resistance, 5% damage with long swords, war axes, and maces. I can go male or female. I'm a guy, I always play male, but that's good that they actually let you pick it. Thumbs up for that. So many games being made right, right now that uh, it's like you have to be female for this particular job or class. Or, or you have to mail for something else. You can't pick and choose like you can here, which is nice. Five, I think we're gonna go with, I don't like any of these bonuses. That's unfortunate. I mean, the orc looks the best. I don't wanna be an orc. Sure, maybe a dark elf or wood elf. 
Uh, oh, look, he's, he's, he's short, he's tall, sure. All right. Body size, he's skinny, or he's fat. Or built, maybe. So he'll be built. Head, type one. Wow, they have a lot of options here. It looks phenomenal. Bald, balding, mohawk, nice. Well, they got a lot of options here. There's nothing wrong with being bald, by the way. I'm I'm getting there. I should probably go with that one, right? Because that's kind of me. What's his back end look like? Oh, here we go. You can turn him. That's outstanding. He's got a ponytail. Not too hyped up on the ponytail. Nice afro. I hope he has something red. That would be funny. What was that, four? It's about as red as that's going to get. Here's a nose. Wow, look at all these options they have. Nice. Look at me. Sure. I, I'm not going to look at the rest. Holy moly. And I hear, uh... What's the name of that game? Black Desert does the same thing. Or is going to do the same thing in their mobile game. Ha! Ah, here we go, that looks exactly like me. Not really. Facial feature color, I'm sure will match. Miscellaneous, face markings. Ah! I like the red. That's all red, look at that, he's got... Looks like somebody wiped their... Oh no, you're, now he's crying blood. Okay, that, sure. All right, we'll take that. Face color markings. No, go back to the red. There we go. Oh, that's, that's red -er. It's like a, yeah, okay, sure. Next. Little red thorn. No, yeah, sure. In the side menu, quests. Lumber and gold. Oh, look at that, they give you a little, uh, little marker where to go. Very odd the way that this plays out. All right, smashable object. get to this thing. I'm trying. Now keep in mind I'm not playing on the phone. I'm playing on my iPad Pro 2. That is super annoying. Probably in-game currency. I don't want to go too long here. This sort of looks like what they were showing off in the in the previews and things like that. Some 
health. Random health. I right, want you to go that way. We're gonna go this way. Never do what the game tells you to do. Huh. What's up? Lock and equip skills, tap on e either bar. You know, one skill point, okay? Here's to unlock a spell, perk, or ability. Perks are always good. Spells are good. Power. What do we get down here? Armsman? Swords warrior. Plus four damage. Sure. I mean, it's, it's up to you what you want to pick. And it looks like, can you reset this? It costs money. Interesting, okay. Some games will let you do it for free. This is not one of those games. Five second unlock. Do 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 do. Sure. Gotta make sure I don't make this too long. Money. Iron ingot and honeycomb. Okay. The store is where you're going to wind up spending money. So I'll stay away from that. Like, real money.
We're gonna skip him. Come on, you can do it. That's all the stuff I got here. We got some potions. I have an iron shield and an iron long sword. Okay. Alright, we're coming, bro. So I got two people. One of them was a blacksmith. Oh, here we go with the town building. Plus, 101 lumber, 50 limestone, 45 copper. And it's gonna take five seconds to build this, this baby. Boom. Cheers. Name your town. Oh, Lord. Sure, we'll just call it something stupid. Ha! Ah, why not? Oh, you didn't take it. Redopolis. Boy, that's a really big building to build in five seconds. That's phenomenal. I don't see why I should bother. All sorts of stuff going on here. And this does not want to work well with me. Lumber run. What does this do? Empty. Oh, it's a decoration. Okay. Well, looks like there's a whole bunch of stuff that you can do. 
I'm gonna have to get used to the way that this camera moves when your thumb is moving with the joystick. There's a bunch of quests. And these are unlocked, obviously, as you progress in both experience and the story. More stuff will unlock, no doubt. Clicking on quests take you to areas. So this is kind of like a little joystick here. Very small. This might actually be easier on a phone. Though I don't see the difference, honestly, because it looks like it's going to be the same. This is definitely something you have to get used to. The whole moving these two joysticks. Left thumb left side walks, right side moves the camera, and then obviously when you attack, you're no longer looking around, you're focused on what's in front of you, So you, and you're pressing and holding down, waiting for that light to hit as close to the outer edge as possible to get the most damage. Although it looks like you can go anywhere between certain points and you'll get the same damage. All right, well, I'm gonna keep playing this game. I'm gonna test it out. We'll see if this is worth it or not. I was really waiting, looking forward to this game, and I don't know. This It's a beautiful world that you're missing most of it in first person, unfortunately, unless you stop and smell the roses and look around. Everyone, we're still in early access, so the game isn't out yet. But go to playblades.com and request for early access and maybe they'll roll your number and, and let you in so you can start playing uh, before they actually release the game, which they haven't said when it's coming out, but if they're giving early access now, it can't be more than a week, is what I'm thinking. Only time will tell. Ladies and gentlemen, hit subscribe if you haven't. It's free to do so. And come hang out with me on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you again.